Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I think this is going to change the way a lot of people do their jobs. Um, for the people who like to tinker and do a little bit more when they troubleshoot or monitor, I was playing a little bit with good old uh, chat GPT, and I thought, you know, what the heck? I do some Python and Perl scripts. Um, I'll ask it, hey, give me some Python code that allows me to do a TCP port check on a specific port number, and I can even specify the number of tests. And good, sure enough, bloop, it said, it sent me the or spit out the Python code, which I threw into my my computer. Sure enough, I ran it and uh, it works. So I didn't change anything, and and I get to specify, as I said, the IP, uh, the number of tests. So I just call the TCP response time two dot py for python the ip address the port number and the number of tests and i did a thousand i wanted to kind of slam the snot out of the box here in the office i wouldn't do this out on the internet because i don't know how it behaves yet and then from there i went and captured the packets using wireshark and i could see how it behaves it sends the sin request and this time it was 5900 which is vnc the device responds with a sin ack and then i do an ack and sure enough, it says, oh, you want to open a port? Well, I'm using VNC server protocol 004.001. Hey, let's do some business. And I said, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. And I reset and I shut the port down. So it's kind of interesting to watch this behavior because then I know how, in this case, Python, how it's opening and closing these ports. Because it could have sent a fin. It could have sent a reset in this case. It might do both, right? You, you never know how this thing's going to behave. And you can see with our first iteration, it was a reset. If I take a look at the next one, sin, sin, ack, and this time it sends a fin. See that? So <laughs> it's it kind of does kind of what it wants, when it wants. And it's interesting how you can start to see the port numbers, 1476, 1477 is the next one, but oh, 4146 left over from the last connection. Uh, but it's nice that it's not leaving the port open. So it's sending a reset, which I don't like, but it's still, it's a way to close a port and it's sending a fin, which I do like. It's a more polite way of, of closing that port. Um, and there you go. So chat GBT, you can have it write your Python scripts. I strongly encourage you to run Wireshark, see how this thing's behaving on the wire before you do anything else with it. And it's just another tool in our toolkit. So have fun folks. Bye for now.